What's up YouTube, Jim and I Johnny back again with another compilation of some of the wildest conspiracy theory TikToks I can find. Don't forget to join me every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 4.15pm PST for the premiere of a brand new video, and every Sunday at 4.15 for a brand new live stream. Come hang out in the chat, say hi to me, talk to me, ask me questions. Merch shop is live, you guys know how that works, it's down there. So without further ado, let's jump right in. People who expose the truth. One of the most amazing things that I have ever seen the bottom of the ocean. It was while filming for Blue Planets in the Gulf of Mexico. I noticed there's something out in the distance. I couldn't tell exactly what, but it looked like a dark band. And as we approached it, the dark band became a donut. I saw this donut that was black in the center. What the heck is that? And so as we get closer and closer to it, I noticed that the black band had would appear to be kind of water lapping against the shoreline. This bed was a ring of muscles. And inside the ring of muscles was a lake. And it's like, wait a minute, I'm already underwater. And we went out over the water in this lake and tried to descend it and pounced on it. It was so super saline and dense that the submarine couldn't go down it. Dang. What happened to Mike DeGray? February 4th, 2012, DeGray died in a helicopter crash at Jasper's Brush near the town of Barrie, New South Wales, Australia. Oof. I just don't really get what he was exposing. Well, I mean, it seems like he discovered something. Yeah, and they kept spelling muscles like muscles on your body. Not Those were muscles like in a lake, M-U-S-S-E-L-S. -S -S. Yeah, I think I got that right. Well, the top comment says, it's called a brine pool. They exist. It's not a mystery. And the second comment says, gotta be a portal. Has to be. They always slap a basic explanation like, it's just a brine pool to make people not look deeper into things that crack. <laughs> Oh, to not look deeper into things that crack the perception of reality they have created for us. Anything that doesn't fit within our perceived reality has to be explained away to prevent cognitive dissonance and deeper levels of thinking. I mean, I think she has a point to an extent, but also, like, just weird stuff happens in the ocean that we don't know about. But yeah, isn't he, like, an expert, though? Like, wouldn't he know what a brine pool is? Wouldn't he not be that baffled by that, you know? Hopefully I could clean that audio up, because it was interesting, but I don't know if it's that big of a... Conspiracy theory. Did you guys see the official NASA speech a few days ago? I don't know why everyone's talking about this part. Unusual things start to happen as the normal rhythms of Earth are disrupted. When they really should be talking about this part. I've often said that at NASA, our mission is for all humanity. And that's because space brings us together. There's no better proof than moments like this, a total solar ellipse, total solar ellipse, total solar ellipse. His little demon eyes notwithstanding, I just want to make it abundantly clear, he does not correct himself. In fact, he pauses for about 10 seconds before he continues to speak. Go back and watch the rest of it. He does say eclipse a couple of times toward the end but he never corrects himself. So what is an ellipse? Imagine you're standing at one end of a large room and your friend is at the other end. You whisper something, barely audible to the person standing next to you. But your friend can clearly hear what you said. How amazing this would be, right? Is this possible? What do you think? Well, this magical thing is possible if the ceiling of the room is spherically shaped like an ellipse. This shape, which looks like a stretched circle, is what makes the whispering magic possible. If the ceiling of the room is elliptical in shape, technically semi-elliptical here, then there are two special points in the room where you and your friend can stand. If one of you whispers something, then all the sound waves get reflected from the elliptical ceiling towards the other person. So as the sound waves from one point get reflected and focused onto the other point, 
your friend can hear your whisper. This works the other way around as well. If your friend whispers something, you will be able to hear clearly as well. Interesting. Now let's see what NASA had to say about the light bending properties of the sun during a solar eclipse. Einstein's light bending concept. Three things that happens <laughs> during a total solar eclipse is that the sky goes dark and the stars come out. In 1915, Albert Einstein predicted that objects that had strong gravity like the sun would bend light. And Sir Arthur Eddington in 1919 decided to test Einstein's prediction by photographing the stars near the sun during a total solar eclipse. He also photographed them six months before the total solar eclipse when the sun was nowhere near those stars. He then compared the images and he discovered that just as Einstein had predicted, starlight bent in the gravity of the sun. If you all saw my part one of my This World Is Not What You Think It Is Eclipse Edition series, you need to watch it because I showed everybody this. He draws continents on the surface and on the other side as well. He points both sides and writes, same. Below he writes summer land. He draws rays coming out of the black sun and writes, northern lights. Hold on. Film, apparent position of a distant star when its light passes close to the sun. Light is bent by the strong gravitational field of the sun. Deflected path, apparent displacement of stars to this position, distant star. Okay. But he needed a total solar eclipse to do that experiment. Well, we can't bend light measurably on Earth using gravity, but I can show you how to use the bottom of a wine glass to bend light using refraction in very much the same pattern that gravity bends light around the sun or around a galaxy. I've set up a blue light emitting diode behind me to represent a distant star. When I move this to the side, you can see a point of light. And as I come in, you can see that point of light changing its position. The wine glass is bending the light from the distant star so you see it to the side. Now the sun doesn't have enough gravity to do this, but a black hole does. If I get exact alignment, the distant star becomes a ring called the Einstein ring. University of Cordoba, Argentina. On a normal day. Please tell me it's all starting to click. Now just sit back and watch these. Okay, Zoe, favorite. What is your favorite thing about space? Go in there. Go in there. Why has nobody been to the moon in such a long time? <laughs> That's not an eight-year-old's question. <laughs> That's my question. I want to know what I think I know. Because we didn't go there, and... And that's the way it happened. And, and if it didn't happen, it's nice to know why it didn't happen. So in the future, if we want to keep doing something, we need to know why something stopped in the past. We wanted to keep it going. What? <laughs>
All right, the movie references aren't doing it for me. Yes, we all know there was a firmament in Hunger Games. Oh no, Simpsons predicted it. It's actually kind of sad, man. Really, we need to let them out of there. I mean, I, they need to know the world is bigger than that. I mean, look, maybe. Maybe they've been dropping hints in big movies and TV shows forever. It's cold out here. Yeah, it is. It's like the South Pole. It's like the deep South Pole. If there was one, there isn't, though. Mm-mm. <laughs> Pirates of the Care Bears? Is that what that said? And don't even get me started on the horned devil comet. <laughs> Had some of the men talking about the comet. So it's an omen. Oh, well, they put it in Game of Thrones now, I believe. In the south. Did they? The stars don't fall from men. A comet means one thing, boy. Dragons. They worship the dragon, which gave power unto the. Oh. Y'all aren't digging deep enough. Dang, it's finally over. Uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, do I think we live under a firmament? No, probably not. Am I one hundred percent on that? No, absolutely not. <laughs> I mean, you know, it could be a firmament. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, obviously it's weird when you put all these videos together back to back like that. It's a compelling argument, but come on, I I just don't understand why they would lie about it this is it goes back to my thing about there's so many people that study space you'd have to get all of them to lie wouldn't one of them be like hey there's a freaking globe up there you wouldn't th you don't think that tiktok would have come out hey uh, i was looking at my telescope and i noticed this little gate that opened and a spaceship came through like come on but i mean i could be wrong and if i am and they announce something uh what is it sunday when is was, oh monday if something happens on monday hey I'll be the first one to tell you I was wrong, <laughs> but good thing it's happening in just a few days. It is weird that that dude just kept saying ellipse, but like, it's, it's, it's an eclipse is what's happening. People are tracking the moon and it, we know the moon goes around us and we know that this happens like twice a year, right? Don't we have to, I just Googled it to make sure there's between two and five solar eclipses every year. I just, uh, just the next thing to be distracted by y'all everybody's distracted by this nobody's talking about what's going on i don't know what's going on but you know <laughs> there's probably some other crap going on that we should be talking about should be talking about these freaking studios the amptp making everybody not give anybody jobs <laughs> trump selling 60 dollar bibles to pay for his legal fees congrats guys bought one of those bibles you just paid legal fees for that man <laughs> never understand that <sighs> man of the working people right who doesn't need their $60 Bible? So someone posed a really good question. A113, let's talk about it. So A113 shows up in a lot of cartoons, a lot of films, all that kind of stuff. Check this out. I'm now, pretty sure I've heard of this before. Is oh, that yeah, it's this. a room at the California Institute of Art where a lot of animators took a class. That's the official story. I find it really interesting because symbolism is very important in the entertainment industry. What do you guys think? Do you believe the official narrative or do you think there's something more to it? They didn't even give like an alternate opinion of what it was supposed to be. I mean, I think it was just the room number because that's I've been in plenty of buildings that have room numbers like that, like a whatever. Yeah, I don't know. I never thought that was that weird. Never question it. But, you know, hey, question everything. Remember this photo of Jennifer Lopez? Uh, it was a gym photo she took, and people realized when they zoomed in a little bit, there was a person, seemed to be like a kid, or maybe a man, who knows, in the door with their mouths covered, and they looked scared. Did we ever get an answer to that? Did everybody get an ex explanation? I just want to know. Um, because, uh, yeah, that's... Uh, the heck? Yeah. Remember this... Uh, <laughs> one of the comments says, pretty sure that's Joe Rogan. I mean, it looks like, uh, it looks like it's edited in, edited in there. I'm not going to lie to me, but yeah, that's weird. Why would somebody edit that in there? Hmm. Next video.
I was hanging out at the hotel in Miami when I noticed some interesting symbolism on the walls. Oh, that's a Freemason symbol. Illuminatio. I like that hand, it's kind of tight. No comment. Age of Aquarius, baby. Like, I'm just kind of fabricated right now. Who is that? That <laughs> looks like a lizard. You cannot tell me that that really is Diddy. His forehead is extra big. His eyes look like lizard eyes. Like, look at the other picture and stop it because, dude, I literally, that's the first thing I thought. That is not Diddy. That is not Diddy. Where's your moles at, sir? Like, yeah. This honestly, I don't know what to think. It could be either. Look at his eyes. Anyways, it could be either or. I'm thinking they cloned this man and threw him under the bus and they're hiding Diddy because, you know, come on now. It's just like, are they really going to hand over this man that's been doing their job, that's been, you know, in line, their soldier? Like, are they really going to give one of their best soldiers up like that? What do you think? Because this is crazy. Just look, this is Diddy. Like, look, the difference. Go back to the other pictures. I'm telling you, there is no way that's Diddy. Hmm. I mean, he does have kind of a lizard-like face, not going to lie. But the moles is weird. Well, why doesn't he have moles in his mugshot? You're not telling me those moles were fake all this time, are you? Hey, don't worry, I'm getting a side-by-side -side for you right now. Hmm. Where did moles go? Yeah, it's weird, dude. I don't know. Let me just double check. Is it his real mugshot? Did he mugshot? Ah, uh, these images are AI. Mmm, AI got us. Ah, all right. Well, what's that now? Yeah, he hasn't been arrested. Do you think it would be news if he was arrested? Yeah, as far as I know, Diddy has not been arrested. Uh, that image is, uh, whatever. That image is AI. That's why he doesn't have moles, and that's why his face looks weird. I'm telling y'all, they always hide the truth in plain sight. Sure is. Make a deal with me, kid. You can have the car and everything that goes along with it. That's a Freemason sign ring. And, wait a minute, that's obviously the devil. <laughs> uh, I appreciate him clearing that up there at the end, because I just thought it was Willem Dafoe killing a role once again. I mean, look, selling your soul to the devil for all the riches and success you want, uh, that's a tale as old as time. Uh, once again, I think it's probably a metaphor for, like, abandoning your morals and doing things that you know aren't good for the success and riches that you seek or also maybe the you know mercedes decided to be the one to tell us that the devil is real and we can make a deal with him if we just sign for a new car yukon's <laughs> men and women's team are going to win the national championship this year here's why and yeah i'm making this video before yukon beats usc in the elite eight on the women's side a little history lesson here's all the schools that have ever had both their men's and women's team advance to the final four in the same year and weirdly enough both nc state men's and women's are in the final four already this year but so is UConn. In 2004, the women's UConn team won. In 2004, the men's UConn team won. The UConn women's team won in 2014. And that same year, UConn also won the men's side. Wait, what year is it? It's 2024. And what year did they win those in? 2004? 2014? 2004? 2014? Every 10 years, UConn men's and women's team both win the national championship. This is definitely worth a sprinkle. And maybe we do it with the NC State men's and women's teams too. Maybe it's just every 10 years it happens. Yeah, sports is fake. Nobody, it's all scripted. <laughs> I don't, hey, we'll come back to this. I don't know when those games are over because uh, I do not care about college basketball. But when they are, I'll come back to this. 
and give that guy a shout out for getting it right. He figured it out. To be clear, that was the better app TikTok account that was doing that. He's come with promo code Johnny. No, I'm just kidding. I don't have a promo code with him. <laughs> that would be funny though. I want to see if anybody else remembers this. When COVID started here in the US, there was this guy that had millions of followers throughout all these platforms and he deleted all of his other platforms except for TikTok and he made like a series of videos apologizing to his fans and like pretty much telling them to be prepared from what happens now when COVID started to 2026. I came across his page when I had COVID the very first time and I was out of commission for like a month and a half because I was so sick so I had time to watch all his videos. There was like 70, 80 videos and you can tell they were all made in the same day so he was trying to hurry up and push out the information and then he was gone. His last video, he was like sobbing, could barely even speak at that point. And he said that him, his wife, and his three kids were going to live off grid and disappear until 2029 when he will be able to come back and reveal who gave him this information and who his resources were. But he would refer to these people as uppers. In like the first 10 videos, he discusses how he got his social media platforms and that he was given fame and that his cousin was actually the one that was famous and his cousin took him to an event and he latched on to someone that was in the uppers that's against famous people. So I guess like, in other words, a famous person that has a committee that's against the bad famous people. They latched on and became friends and they gave him an assignment. They gave him social media platforms with millions of followers and told him to post for two months so he becomes a familiar face and then to delete all his platforms and just stick with one platform that is popular in that time. And during that time and now, TikTok is the most popular mm. platform. Okay. And I'm into conspiracies, and I only remember the ones that scare me. I know that's weird. But I remember watching all his videos, and I was terrified because the things he was saying made sense. And I almost made, like, a mental checklist. So anytime anything happens, I'm like, fuck, he said that. I kid you not, everything this man has said so far has happened, and I cannot find his videos, and I hope people remember him because it was, like, a year straight people made fun of him, and then he just, it just all stopped. And what brought this up today is I just watched a video of the Simpsons talking about the stars falling from the sky. And he made this comment that made no fucking sense to me. And he said, I want you guys to know that the stars are going to fall, but it's not the ones that are in the sky. It's the ones you look up to. In the back of my head, I said, the ones I look up to are the ones in the sky. Absolutely not. And now it makes sense after seeing that little clip. It just, it blows my mind. If anybody remembers it and you can find a video, tag me in it so I can have proof. <laughs> um, but also I want to rewatch his videos because holy shit, like mind blown. People in the comments are saying Isaac Cappy or William Knight. But Isaac Cappy died in 2019 before COVID and William Knight still posts. So it's not them. I mean, I don't, that doesn't ring a bell for me at all. I don't think I ever saw that, but not really on TikTok like that either. So yeah, if anybody out there knows what that is, comment below. Let's find this person and uh Okay, we gotta put our tinfoil hat back on for this one, y'all. My favorite. This is weird. So I come across this post on my Twitter. Um, can someone please tell me what the F is going on in the background? Okay, photo number one. Boom. Look in the background, get your full. Shit's getting weird. Photo number two. This AI. Computer. Hold on, let's zoom in. Mm. This is weirder. Like, what's happening here? So I'm like, it's it's AI, like, right? Yeah. I'm gonna let me go to her page myself so that I can see if this is even real. Well, I'll be doggone. It's really on her page, March 16th. Y'all see that right there? And I'm zooming in myself so that y'all can see. Like, this is a real photo on her page. Look at that one. What in the reptilian hell is going on? What? Need somebody to explain to me like I'm three years old why America's Got Talent has shapeshifters in the audience. And if these aren't I don't know shapeshifters, if it's shapeshifters. what the hell is it? And why would someone, especially a host of America's Got Talent, be editing faces in the background of her photos? This is not April Fool's. This was posted on March 16th. It's on her page right now. Somebody tell me, because for those of you who are so good at refuting conspiracies, 
Give me an answer for this in the comments. Thank you. I mean, it looks like AI faces to me. Another thing, it could be that sh they distort the faces in the background so that she doesn't get sued. It's like, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I don't know. It's a post on Instagram. I don't know. Can people... I guess, yeah, if you, somebody has your face posted on their Instagram, you could probably sue them. Or she was in a theater of shape-shifting demons. I don't know. <laughs> it's possible. Is it? All right, guys. News alert. Everyone should know this, okay? So the shipping container here that just took down the bridge in Baltimore, okay? There's a little backstory. Let's get into it real quick. You're just going to blow your mind. So this is uh, Angela Cheo, who just so happens to be Mitch McConnell's sister-in-law. Yeah, Mitch McConnell, the senator. Uh, well, she is the CEO of the shipping uh, company that that ship was connected to. Uh, but it just so happened six days ago, this girl died. So basically, now tell me if this doesn't sound suspicious. Uh, her blood level, uh, her alcohol blood levels were three times the legal limit. On top of that, this is what happened. She was driving her Tesla when it went into reverse on its own into a pond where she drowned. Okay? Tell me that's not a coincidence, y'all. Okay? So, like, the CEO, now, now, mind you, she's a billionaire. Okay? She is loaded. Okay? So, like... They just took her out, and then all of a sudden, five, six days later, here comes down the bridge. So, just a little shady, but I thought the world should know. Hmm. Uh, well, I would have to confirm that. Well, a uh, quick little Google lets us know. The late Angela Chow, sister-in-law of Senator Mitch McConnell, was the CEO of a shipping company, but not the owner of the container vessel Dali that crashed into Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge, as claimed on social media posts. So, yeah, no, she owned a shipping company, not that ship or shipping company. So kind of just, you know, five seconds of Googling and it just crumbles your entire th theory there, buddy. But I like where your head's at, connecting the dots, actually doing some research he did. It was, it was wrong, but <laughs> he did the research. I'm, I'm tweaking out. This shirt is just... You can kind of tell. Right? Just kidding. So it's a bad photo, but it's the only one I have. Um, you can clearly see that this shirt has Hebrew letters. Um, I bought it in Israel, um, which is why it's in Hebrew. So on this day, April 14th, 2023, I put it in the washing machine in Hebrew, and it came out in English. Someone please tell me if we just went through a portal, if like astrology girls, please help me out. Like what's going on? Eight hundred and fifty thousand likes. I don't know how many views, but it's probably millions. And nobody thought maybe she just bought a Coca Cola shirt and is lying about that. <laughs> One of the top comments says, "This is such a random thing to lie about," but I f with it. <laughs> but there you have it, folks. That is another compilation of some of the wildest TikTok conspiracy theories I can find. Don't forget to join me every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday for a brand new reaction video, and every Sunday for a live stream. Come kick it in the chat. Merch shop is live. You guys know where it's at. It's down there. We got Gemini Johnny beanies. We also got tie dye beanies, sweaters, hoodies, shirts, gym crew shirts. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you guys. So until next time, seek the truth.